Well, guys, long time no see. It's been real hectic around here, but I finally got out and got some digging under my belt. Found a couple of cool finds. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that. But also, make sure you stay tuned to the end for the announcement of the winner of that silver dollar. So make sure you check that out, too. Stay tuned. Well, guys, after some debate, we decided to come out here to the fields. Everything, you know, there's been detectors here before. So uh, the way we're thinking around the house and the easy areas are got, so we decided to come out to the fields and give it a swing. But I wanted y'all to check out the fields. There's plenty of places to swing a detector. I mean, that's the 360 of it right there. Justin and Ricky's out there swinging away. And I'm about to start it up. Beautiful spot, beautiful. Let's get swinging. Well guys, I'm coming through here and I get this uh, 70 signal. And it's some type of a bullet. I apologize for the lighting. I don't know about all that. I don't know how old that is. I see some rifling on it. old pistol bullet anyway we we'll to do a little research all right let's keep digging well guys i just ran across my first horseshoe it's a old one about five six inches down check it out well the light ain't that great kind of all bright and all but maybe you can see it's a big joker i mean it's just almost the size of my hand Got some age to it. We're heading in the right direction. All right, let's keep on digging. Justin comes walking up, and we was chatting for a second, and he said, oh, I got this buck. We'll pull this jewel out. Man. Right by the swamp That's straight there. up. So Civil I heard, War I heard era. That they dumped a bunch of ammunition and silver and stuff like that to keep the other people from getting it. So yeah. it off in the swamp. So I ran the swamp edge, and that's where I found the buckle. So maybe there's some truth to it. I don't know. Mm. Get that silver. Nice cool buckle. Got that brass looking. Mm, green, got the brass green. on the outside. Iron clasp in the center, whatever you want to call it. Let it dry up a little bit. See if we can get anything off of it. Oh, I'll be cool on it if it's yeah. in the U.S. Yep. Never know what it might say right up in there. Or patent date whatever that's cool 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 nailed it brother well, guys i dig up this eye to a tent this place also was known as camp wind during the civil war not only was it a hospital it was a training camp so i imagine a lot of tents had been staked out through there in the past But, yeah, eye to a strap. I'll uh, include some pictures of this area in the 
Sisters of, I think it was Sisters of Mercy or something like that. They used to take care of the soldiers, help take care of the soldiers. But I'll see if I can't dig up some pictures to show you. Cool. Keep on. Guys, I come through here and I get a scratchy signal in the 50s. And I'm pretty sure it's a barber dime and the sun's washing me out. But, not a barber dime, a dang v-nickel, I'm sorry. Let me see a little better. Was it 1883? Yeah, 1883. I think that's another first year. This variety either has scents on the back or it doesn't. Uh, people was counterfeiting, counterfeiting these. And uh, I actually found a other 83. What had the scent on the back. <laughs> the word sent yeah I see the V and it has the scent that's the hard one to find most of them doesn't have the scent on the back 1883 V nickel I'm proud to have that I've been on a dry spell hadn't got to hunt here lately that much but that is a nice v necklace in pretty good shape it was deep about eight inches down all right let's see if we can find some more well guys if you remember I was digging out in behind the Shelby Ironworks and I found like four of the Liberty Nickels, V Nickels, whatever you want to call them. And I actually found a another 1883 uh, Liberty Nickel. And that was the first year they made the Liberty Nickel and they forgot to put scent on the bottom of the V Nickel. So people started taking the V Nickels and they would gold plate them and pass them off as a $5 gold piece. So the U.S. government quickly uh, issued some more it had sin on the bottom and those are more rare to find and this is my second 1883 Liberty nickel with sin on the bottom of it so I was stoked to find this uh, I written now I've got to find one without the scent I would be overjoyed to find one but let's get back to the video Well, guys, I moved on out here into the woods, uh, checking everything out, and I run up on the old dump. I just found this piece of a crop. Check this out. I wish it was whole, but it's not. Looks like an old five-gallon, maybe a three-gallon, four-gallon. Maybe we'll find something whole in a minute. I'll keep you posted. Well, guys, I found this milk of magnesia. It's the small one. 30s or 40s, probably. Screw top. But they display real good. So we'll be keeping that. I'm just looking over the top of the ground right now. Trying to see what I can find. But I'll get back with you if I find anything else. Well, guys, there's a wheat scent. Probably from the 40s. Not 
1945, I believe what I'm seeing right there. We'll take it. My first find of the day, a piece of a tag. Yeah, some kind of, I think it's a tag. I thought at first it may have been a pocket watch, but just the way it looks, I think it's more, maybe a tool tag or something like that, but definitely an old find. Good find, dear. I got her hanging out with me today, digging holes. Need all the help I can get. All right, we'll be back with y'all in a minute. Well, guys, I'm coming through here now. I got a deep 80, and uh, got a little coin spill, too. Looks like Wheaties. Maybe that other one right there would be a Indian or something. I think that's 1950, 1950 maybe. We'll have to clean it up a little better. That's a Lincoln wheat scent. Mm, can't really see. We'll clean it up a little better. We get to the house. But, we'll keep going. Guys, I'm coming through here. I get this 91, 92. I'm, I was positive it was going to be a piece of trash. Even though it was a sweet sounded signal. I'm digging in this messy, watery, muddy mess. But uh stick my pin pointer down in the hole and I pull this up and I can see a rated edge. Check this out. Look right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's a rated edge. And it's ringing up 91, 92. It's got to be a half. I mean I guess it could be a quarter, but it'd be ringing up terribly high. Let's flip it. Oh, you can't tell nothing about it. Oh, God, come on. Let's get it in the water. Try to easily do this. Oh, come on. Oh, I... what is it? Oh, it's a half. It is a half. It is a half. It's a barber half. 1909. I need some clean water on me. My God, come on, son. Try to uh, hit it with my shovel. I think I may have got it right there. God, heck yeah. It's a barber half. I am absolutely stoked about that. Golly. In this spot where I never... I never detect right here. It's just muddy all up through here. It's always muddy. And I caught it where it's kind of dry. But you can see it's still holding water. And I pulled this baby out. Thank you, Lord. I had to hit a dry spell. I really hadn't been able to dig that much here lately. I've been working a lot and feeling a little rough, but... Man, that's a way to come back in there. I'm so proud of that. All right, guys, let's keep on looking and see if we can't find some more.
Well, guys, I was coming through here and I got a deep, like 81, 82, and uh, I found this early lamp part. It's got some cool patina to it, so I'm not going to rub around on it until it dries. And I'll clean it up when we get to the house and all that good stuff, but I'll put a picture of it up. Kind of cool. Let's keep on digging. Well, guys, I'm coming through here and I find an old lock. It's a little worse for wear, but hey, it's a lock. As you can see, it's kind of beat up. It's been in the ground a long time, but it was open actually, I believe. But we'll keep on looking. Well, guys, I just come upon this uh, bag seal, I guess. That or a squished bullet one. All right, we'll keep on looking. Well, y'all, I'm right here digging, uh, and I come out with a spent round. Got a little bit of age to it, but, uh, you know, not terribly old. I would think late 1800s, but I love finding old bullets. Let's keep on going. Well, guys, lock number two. Not sure of what kind it is yet. It's got something on it right there. Maybe a sleigh maker. I don't know. Give me a minute and I'll clean it up and we'll take a better look at it. Well, guys, it's got RFD on that side and Acme on the other. So you can tell that's not a real nice lock or anything. But, hey, we'll take it. I may have done that. Let's keep on. Well, guys. This week's video was just a conglomeration of uh, the 30 minutes to an hour I got to hunt here and there on my little off time. I've had life going on, uh, work, been a little under the weather, daddy duties, just life. Hadn't been able to dig a whole lot, but that half dollar, I found it actually over the weekend, and man, it had my heart pumping. I totally wasn't expecting it. I was kind of in a daze the whole time I was... Uh, you know messing with it i was totally expecting a piece of trash i cannot believe that coin popped out uh just proof you know always <clears throat> excuse me always uh check them less than perfect targets uh sometimes they will surprise you that v nickel first year v nickel with the scent on the bottom uh hard one to come by proud to see it but also, I'd like to apologize for the delay on the giveaway. Like I said, life. But uh, here we go. Jack Townsend. I know Jack real well. He's the winner of the giveaway. I tried to find an app where I could just download an uh, app to go through my subscribers and pick a winner. And I couldn't find an app like that. So I just asked my daughter. I said, give me a number between uh, 1 and 678. And, oh, 978 excuse me losing my mind and she told me 671 and that was jack townsend so congrats congratulations jack uh i know jack i'll reach out to him um uh, a real great guy uh, very deserving of the coin i'm proud to see him get it but at 1000 subscribers i'm going to be giving another coin away so Stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. God bless and happy hunting.